The following video is a field day demonstration on a trenchless pipelining site near Falaire, Alberta, August 8, 2012. The purpose of this field day was to demonstrate different options for compaction relief on a trenchless pipeline right of way. There were two pieces of equipment demonstrated here, a paratill and an agriplow. The paratill used had three shanks spaced at 26 inches, a minimum depth of 7 to 8 inches, a maximum depth of 25 inches, with a mechanical trip reset which was non-adjustable in its pressure. The agriplow used had five shanks at a spacing of 13 inches, a minimum depth of 4 inches, a maximum depth of 24 inches, with a hydraulic trip reset that has adjustable pressure. This is a view of the right-of-way where the demonstrations would take place. As you can see, all vehicle traffic has taken place on the right-hand side of the right-of-way, and the trenchless pipeline has been placed on the left-hand side of the pipeline right-of-way. This is a view of the paratill machine. You can see the three shanks with the sidekick plate at the bottom, as well as the mechanical trip assembly at the top. This is a view of the agriplow. You can see the straight shanks as well as the coulters in front along with the hydraulic trip assembly on top of the machine. A penetrometer was used to determine the severity of compaction on the pipeline right of way. A PSI of 1500 was obtained indicating severe compaction. As you can see from the photo, penetration into this compacted soil was extremely difficult and at 1500 PSI, the maximum depth obtained was under 4 inches. While off of the right-of-way was a different story. The penetrometer was easily able to penetrate below the height of the crop to a maximum PSI of 400. We were thankful to have the cooperation of industry as well as local producers at this educational field day. The first piece to be demonstrated was the paratill, pulled by a 160 horse John Deere tractor. You can see the three heavy shanks cutting into the compacted soil and the effects of the sidekick plate at the bottom of the shank. Note the finish and the amount of trash that is left after the pass from the three shank paratill. We can see in this photo where the shank of the paratill cut through the middle of the soil profile. On the left, we see an area where compaction has been relieved. Yet, on the right hand side, there is still an area where compacted soil remains. This is due to the wide spacing of the shanks of the paratill. The second piece to be demonstrated was the agriplow, pulled by the same 160 horse John Deere tractor. You can see that the straight shanks cut easily into the heavily compacted soils. Note the narrower shank spacing and its ability to still effectively relieve compaction in this heavily compacted soil. You can also note the finish and the amount of trash that is left at the top of the soil profile by the five shank agriplow. In this photo, we see where three of the five shanks move through the soil profile. Upon closer inspection, we can see the complete shattering of the compacted soils across the entire soil profile. This is due to the narrower shank spacing found on the agriplot. Here we place both pieces of equipment side by side so we can effectively evaluate both machines. What we should be looking for is the finish that is left by each machine, the amount of trash that is left by each machine, as well as the difference in the shank spacing. As we can see, 
AgriPlow can provide an effective and comparable, if not superior option for compaction relief in today's oil and gas industry. This field day demonstration was an excellent opportunity to see the options available to industry and producers to effectively relieve compaction on pipelines and well sites. AgriPlow Canada would like to thank everyone for their efforts in putting on such an educational day and letting us be a part of it and encouraging better land stewardship practices within the oil and gas industry.